It is pressure cooker time in the Champions League. Four teams are left and the stage is set for an enthralling semi-final. Who will make it through to the showpiece event? It's Inter. They take on Milan next on EA TV. A huge night at a great stadium. We're here at the San Siro. I'm Derek Ray at the microphone, and joining me for match commentary is Stuart Robson. And we're ready to bring you the second leg of this UEFA Champions League semi-final. It's Inter up against Milan. Well, the first leg was a really good game, Derek. It had action at both ends, it was an even contest, and it's set up perfectly for this second leg. Hopefully we're not disappointed. The Inter team, Milan Skriniar plays alongside Alessandro Bastoni in central defence. Nicolo Barella plays with Henrik Mkhitaryan in the centre of midfield. And leading the attack today, Lautaro Martinez plays alongside Edin Dzeko. This is the Milan starting 11. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Teo Hernandez starts with Davide Calabria in the fullback positions. Ismael Benassa plays alongside Sandro Tonali in central midfield. And the starting role in attack is handed to Olivier Giroud. And they get the ball rolling in the second leg of this Champions League semi-final. Rafael Leao. Throw in for Milan. Ben Asser. Tonali with it. Kea. Sandro Tonali. Already closing him down here. Alessandro Bastoni. Now with Miki Tarian. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, Derek, we know he loves linking up with other players, but it's when he's in and around the penalty area, that's when he's at his most dangerous, when he plays little one-twos around his marker and then plays the next forward pass into a runner. He could be the key to unlocking this defence. And a significant block following that cross. Martinez. Terrific block. And given the defender's touch, the referee says corner. Taken short. Now will the cross work out for them? Not the best clearance. A Cherby. Bastoni. Well, the supporters think it's on. Just the challenge that was required.
Milan moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Krunic. A really sumptuous ball. Benacer. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Barella. Rade Krunic. Tonali with it. Really getting stuck in. Federico Di Marco. Dzeko. A fine use of the ball. Cross could be useful. And the keeper making sure that there were no scraps to feed on for the attackers. The Italian cross blocked. And played short. Played into the box. Who's going to win this joust? Well, the conclusion, he's missed the opportunity. the clearance that was called for Benassa now Giroud Diaz going well Giroud superb block Since they have the ball, the referee playing advantage here. Skriniar. Dzeko. And space for them here on the flank. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Real chance. Oh, incredible save. And he snuffed out any sign of danger. And he's beaten him here. He's protecting it well. Good tackle. It'll be a throw. Well, the referee let it go initially, but now he goes back and cautions him, Stuart. Yeah, it's a good bit of refereeing. He tried to let the play continue, and then he came back for the booking. And that's great work to keep it in play. Jihou. Krunic, keeping the ball moving. Well, trying to take their time, but not enough care on the ball. This might be ideal for the counter. Martinez. Now with Barella. Well, just the tackle that was needed. Damian Barella Opportunity to deliver the cross Martinez Checo chance Oh terrific save from the keeper Well that's just a wonderful save How did he stop that? Short corner routine. Targets available. Cross comes in. Wonderful header. Excellent goalkeeping. A 
a chance for them again to play it over from the corner flag. They take it short. And making sure nothing untoward happened following the cross. Really good corner there. Well, the first 45 minutes have come and gone here at the San Siro. And they're underway in the second half of this Champions League semi-final second leg. Martinez. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Teo Hernandez on the ball Rafael Leao and we had a bit of work to do in getting to that through ball the goalkeeper Di Marco it's with a Cherby not the pass he had in mind and the emphasis is on creativity Chananolu and winning it back. Oh, that pass easy on the eye. And a wonderful diving save to deny the opportunity. And how about the short corner? Tomori. Kea Krunic Sandro Tonali determined defending Giroud now well, defenders having to cover up and the referee has pointed to the spot penalty given Plenty of pressure. Di Marco. The ball with Martinez. Now, what could Inter do from this position? A fine block. And behind it goes the concession of a corner here. They decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Played over. Not all that convincing defensively. Martinez. Superbly read and executed. Messias. Over the touch line, but what will be an inter throw. And time for the change now. Marcelo 
Henrik Mkhitaryan. Now Dzeko. And he saw the situation developing. Ben Asser. Tonali with it. Dzeko. And he keeps going. And a chance to whip it in here. High pressing at its best. Rade Krunic. Ben Asser. Excellent defending. Ben Asser. Leal. That's a very... Can they see this through? Well, as you can see, he doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well-balanced and skillful. That's a top-class finish. What a tie this has turned out to be. 5-4, the aggregate score. Damian. A foul, but advantage played. And this is Brozovic. Defensive roadblock in the way of that cross. And a throw for Inter. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Options in the middle. Mkhitaryan. Very quick thinking there. Could be a chance to break here. Brozovic. Now Dzeko. Lovely ball over the top. Barella. Using his strength to shield the ball. And the cross not quite imaginative enough. Well, he made great contact with that one, but the goalkeeper had his own ideas. And time for the change now. Short corner taken. Well, he made sure there was absolutely no way through. And not a great challenge. Free kick here. Into the box it goes. And the keeper was there to make the catch. The referee not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick. Good looking ball, there could be a chance now. Got four marks to him for that header, but the goalkeeper did his job. Benassa. Junior Messias. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Ooh. 
Barella. Well, three minutes of stoppage time added on here. Rafael Leao. Teo Hernandez. Well, he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Mickey Tarian. How can he take them on and beat them? Dzeko. Well, we and the sound of the referee's whistle, Milan are going to the final. Well, what a close tie that was. Just look at the celebrations out there. They know that could have gone either way. But in the end, I think they deserved it. And what a final we have in store for us now. I just can't wait. Well, you know, when our colleagues in the newspapers come out with their grades for this match, he's going to get very high marks. Yeah, good performance and a really critical goal to give them the lead. They just couldn't cope with his movement today. And they get the ball rolling in the second leg of this Champions League semi-final. Well, the conclusion, he's missed the opportunity. Martinez, Dzeko, chance! Oh, terrific save from the keeper. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Targets available, cross comes in. Wonderful header, excellent goalkeeping. Got a chance for them again to play it over from the corner flag. And winning it back. Oh, that pass easy on the eye. Leal. That's a very fine piece of tackling. And a goal! And now they're in control of the situation. Can